Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm filming the last of my Nikki and Isabel collection sort of unboxing videos. Reviews and setup and all that will be coming later, but I'm so excited to almost like get this over with so I can put things away and just like have them fully involved in the doll house. So um, I have, and I think I've said this in other videos, obviously Nikki and Isabel, and then we have their pets. We have Nikki's bedroom accessories, Isabel's bedroom accessories, the Pizza Hut set, and Isabel's accessories. Now, I did not get Isabel's accessories because I originally was only going to get Nikki, um, but I ended up getting both, obviously. And my goal is to take the upstairs part of the dollhouse and turn it into their hangout. And so each will have their bedroom accessories on one side of the upstairs area, computer in the middle. I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, and I do not intend on getting their beds. So that is the long-term plan. So let's start with Isabel's bedroom accessories because I've already blown up the chair. Oh, no, these are Nikki's, sorry. Nikki's bedroom accessories. I've already blown up the chair. So we'll start there. Um, her accessories come with one inflatable chair, one CD player, two CDs, two CD cases, one pair of headphones, one alarm clock, one grin pin banner and one zine okay or zine zine yep okay so here is the inflatable chair it is a nice deep purple it is lovely inflatable there's your little lower hole right there um and it's 90s i mean i can say everything is right they, they did a good job capturing these items so let's take a look at what she actually has All right, so in her box, I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. And all of these have already been opened. Like I said, we've got it, we got it on Saturday. Today's Tuesday, but I definitely wanted to film. Okay, so in here she has, let's start with the CD player and headphones. Um, it's all plastic, um, no real metal hardware. If you have Courtney's headphones, which I could do a comparison at some point as a short, her headphones are a little bit better quality, but this is all plastic. This is a sticker. You pop this open. And it does have like a little hinge that keeps it in place. And you have her Summer Mix 1999 right in there. And that can come out. And then the headphones just stick on in that sort of cone shape on the side. And they fit her really nicely. We have the other CD birthday mix. And then here's the case for the summer mix that's in the CD player already. And then she has her alarm clock, which I feel like they could have done better with this. Um, I will open it, but I wish they would have made it battery operated. That would have been a really good idea. But it's all plastic. Um, Here's the front that is just a decal on and then you have the little turner volume the stations for the radio and then the volume does not turn oh it does a little bit just but it's a really hard turn so that just sits flat like that and then here are the grin pins and design Girl Power by Nikki H. So there's that. So those are all her accessories. I think they're cute. Um, like I said, I wish that it was less plastic, but um, I can't complain. All right, next let's go to Nikki's accessories. Here's her accessory pack. In it, she has a hat, a pair of glasses, one bag, one necklace, one notebook, and one set of grin pin stickers. I will tell you already, the necklace is on the dog, um, which is fine, but it does fit her pretty cute. So, all right, so in here we have let's start with the hat, it's just uh, like an American Girl sport type hat. There are pins on the back. This is how they are stuck on. They're sewn on. 
and she's been wearing it backwards when we put it on her. Here are the mini grin pins. Peel them off this card and stick them on your doll's vest. I'm going to keep those in there. Um, let's see. She's got her little notebook. It's a journal. There's a couple things filled out, but not a lot. They don't have a book yet, although the book is supposed to be coming out. They just have their journals. And... She has this cute purse. It's like that pleathery plastic material. It's a skate club. It opens up pretty wide. They've been doing a good job with the purses. This reminds me of Covey's purse. Um, and Nikki's interest is skateboarding. And then these are her sunglasses, which are really cute on. That shape is so 90s. Again, I don't have Isabel's accessories. I wasn't interested in them, but I know she kind of has the same thing just in her style palette. All right, next up, let's take a look at the Pizza Hut set. Now this, I'm not disappointed. I'll say the only, I thought this was gonna be bigger. This is $32 um, for this set, and so I just thought it was gonna be a bigger set. It's very petite. Okay, in the box, you have one pizza, one pizza box, one pizza pan, one Parmesan shaker, one pepper shaker, one cup, one pin, one certificate one spatula, and one mini book. So this is all about the Book It set. So if you were a kid in the 90s, you know about Book It. You would have to read books. Um, and then as you read books, you would get a certificate and then get a free pizza with that certificate. And so um, I'm trying to think. Last time we had them, I think Kennedy was in kindergarten. The school that I was working at and she was attending did Book It. Um, and that would have been 2013, but it was basically like you had to, as the teacher, reach out to Pizza Hut. It wasn't a whole national program like it used to be in the 90s, but it's still probably around. Okay, so in here is your book. It's called Super Slumber Parties, and it's all about doing a slumber party, which is fun. Little recipes. I love when they do the mini books like this. So very cute. Okay, then you get the pizza. So the pizza comes two ways. You have it in the box and you have it in the personal pan, like if you're gonna eat it there. This does not fit into the box. So if you're going to have it on the table or something, it just has to be in this uh, personal pan pan. And then this box is pretty flimsy, flimsier than other boxes. Um, so you just have to be careful with it, but again, it doesn't fit the pizza in the pan just the pizza itself fits and then this classic pizza hut cup which they really popped off with this one this is exactly how the cups were and then you have your crushed red pepper just little specks in there and your parmesan kind of looks like the sugar in different sets just a little bit muted not so glittery and your spatula and then the last two things i'm keeping them in their packages though to keep them nice is a book it pin um and it clips onto the shirt with that little hook and then the award certificate so this is what you would hand in to the cashier at pizza hut to get your free pizza so i think it's it is um well done very realistic to the times i just wish it was bigger i don't know if i'm looking for plates or the checkered tablecloth the second cup that would have been great too that would have been great too so all right let's look at the dogs next and then isabel's bedroom accessories okay next up are isabel and nikki's pet set and so just reading the journal it looks like isabel has buffy the kitten and Nikki has Blossom the Puppy. I think these are really named after Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the show Blossom. Um, and so those are their names. Here they are. Here's the kitten. It is a very cute color. It is soft, but it's stuffed with bean bags. It's almost like a beanie baby. Um, and it has these cute pink ears. Very soft, fluffy tail. Pretty small but they are a kitten and a puppy and then 
The dog is the normal soft plush. It does not have that beanbag material in it. Um, this looks like a little chocolate lab. And again, it's wearing um, Mickey's necklace that goes on her. So that's really cute. Okay, last let's go through Isabel's bedroom accessories. And you can see I put Nikki in her chair just in case she wanted to see what that looks like and how they fit. Um, it's a really good sit, so I think they should do more chairs like that. Okay, I was excited about Isabel's bedroom accessories and almost thought about getting her accessories for the bedroom and not Nikki's. But then I had the idea about how I was going to design the dollhouse. I got them both. But what really got me on this one was the Tamagotchi. So let's open this up. Alright, so the first thing in here is her fluffy pillow, and we love these types of pillows. I know the girls have them on their own beds, but these are like propped up pillows. They are so cozy, so it's all pink, very well stuffed, with a little daisy pillow, and I will bring Isabel back in. So you can see she kind of leans against it. And it props her up perfectly. So I really like that the chairs are great for both of them and they, sit and they can use them. Okay, everything else is in just this little bag. Okay, so first off, Isabel has just like little lights that she can have strung across. I guess it would be strung across her bed. I don't know how I'm going to string them. In the dollhouse but I'll find a way maybe tape them on her side little butterflies that are decorative and then she has oh, a special diary that says keep out it looks like it's um, trying to be like leather bound with her nice little locket which you can see the contrast they're doing I mean there's always like this in twins whether it's Mary Kay Nashley or Jessica and Elizabeth on Sweet Valley like there's the sort of tomboy soft one who's not into all the girly stuff and then you have the girly one um so i guess that's what they're playing on this so she's got the pink keep out journal says it belongs to isabel her writing seems to be a lot neater so that's that and then i noticed this in the bag this one i hadn't opened yet but she's got the little fluffy pin like from clueless um, I think that is really cute. I wish it was just a little bit taller, but it's really cute and it goes with her diary, I would assume. And then she has her magazine. Um, and this is just the American Girl. It's from November, December 1999. And it's just the mini magazine that would have come out at that time. Um, okay, here this is a little pamphlet about the room, kind of really selling that bed. Now I'm looking at it. It is kind of cute. She's got the little butterflies down there. And then the pillow would go on top. Okay, they're not going to do me. They're not going to get me. Um, comment down below if you think I'm going to get the beds. <laughs> and then here is a little poster. You've got this with the kitten hanging on for dear life. It's something that you might find at the Scholastic Book Fair. So I thought that was cute. And then the last thing I was most excited about in the set was the Tamagotchi, but slightly disappointed by what we're getting. Um, here is the Tamagotchi. It's on a chain. You have the screen sort of holographed, and you have the rubber buttons, but they don't push in. Um, I shouldn't say I'm disappointed, because I don't know how they could have done it any better, unless they made like an actual mini Tamagotchi, which would not be really a good idea, but this is the Tamagotchi. So those are the accessories that I picked up for the girls. I think I'm well stocked in their collection. Like I said, I didn't get their pajamas. I didn't get the beds and I didn't get their outfits. I have plenty of outfits. so I'm not worried about dressing them necessarily 90s. Um, but I am excited to get them set up into the dollhouse and put all their things up there. That means I'm going to have to move the community center out of the dollhouse altogether and try to store those items. Um, and then... We'll start shifting around so stay tuned for an upcoming dollhouse tour where you can see all of the changes that are made 
anyway please comment down below what you picked up from this collection if you picked up anything uh, or what you liked and plan to pick up at a different time and as always please like comment and subscribe thanks so much for always engaging in the channel and all the new subscribers we'll see you in the next one bye guys